Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, let me begin by uh, extending our appreciation to your delegation for organizing this uh, high-level meeting. In the interest of time, I am delivering a shorter version of our statement. The full statement is being submitted separately for record. Mr. President, the work of the UN is guided by the purposes and principles contained in its uh, founding charter. The sovereign equality of states and prohibition of uh, the use of force are cardinal principles of international relations. However, while we may have succeeded in preventing another world war, this does not hide the reality about the UN's inability to respond to increasingly complex global challenges such as terrorism, pandemics, climate change, threats posed by emerging technologies, cyber attacks, and the disruptive role of uh, non-state actors. Clearly, the growing stresses that the international system has experienced in the recent years call for an effective multilateral response. Disillusionment with the existing multilateral system has led member states to consider various alternatives, such as replacing multilateral agreements with bilateral deals or replacing multilateral rules with rules for like-minded countries. The growing influence of and expectations from plurilateral or multilateral groups is a reaction to the dissatisfaction with the static nature of existing institutions in a dynamic world as UN mechanisms are gradually losing their functional character. In this context, let me offer uh, following points for consideration. Member states have uh, always extended support for treaty-based multilateralism. When multilateral mechanisms fail to respond to their needs, member states have resorted to plurilateral initiatives uh, as a viable option for cooperation. This is a natural phenomenon and need not be seen as a threat, but as a complement to, to a rules-based international order led by the UN. Multipolarity, as we are witnessing it now, is here to stay. The primary reason the multilateral system has failed to deliver is that it is still stuck in a 1945 vintage binary outlook reflected clearly in the composition of this Security Council. The core of India's position on reformed multilateralism, therefore, lies in a call for the reform of the UN Security Council that is reflective of contemporary realities of today. For multilateral cooperation to deliver, it must emanate from a representation of developing countries in all major decision-making bodies, especially in the peace and security architecture. As we convene for the Summit of the Future, let us recommit to time-bound negotiations on UNSC reforms. The multilateral system cannot deliver without the sustained commitment of major powers and groups to global institutions and a rules-based order. And in this context, it is important that all must adhere to the basic building block of international cooperation, which is good faith negotiations. Sabotaging of negotiating processes and mechanisms by big countries or groups in the narrow interest of their own positions is detrimental to the multilateral spirit and must be called out wherever necessary. Mr. President, India has consistently worked uh, to strengthen multilateralism by seeking reform of the UN, the Bretton Woods system, and the WTO. India is also contributing uh, to strengthening of the voices of the Global South in all multilateral forums. It has initiated the International Solar Alliance, the Coalition for Disaster Resilient Infrastructure, joined the Alliance for Multilateralism, and is a proactive member of the G20. We have always pursued a rules-based architecture to strengthen the forces of cooperative multilateralism. In closing, upholding multilateralism and the UN-centered international system needs more serious efforts than tokenism. We have always sought responsible and inclusive solutions to global challenges guided by dialogue and cooperation, mutual respect, and commitment to international law. This approach, to our mind, is a sine qua non for a more just, democratic, and sustainable world order. I thank you.